what's going on guys in this video i will show you how to start a t-shirt business from home with under 500 dollars we will talk about how to make t-shirts different tips and tricks what products to use to make the highest quality shirts and much much more we will also talk about print and cut how it works and whether or not you should do it let's not waste any time and get right into it all right guys first let's talk about all the products that we need the first thing that you will need is a heat press machine you will need a regular inkjet printer you will need heat transfer paper and you will also need heat transfer tape i will leave a link to all of these items in the description under the video all right guys so the first thing that we're going to do is start with making white t-shirts the first thing you're going to do is mirror the picture and then you're going to print this shirt using any standard inkjet printer you will not need any kind of special ink you will use the ink that comes with the printer when the ink is heat pressed with the vinyl sheet the ink becomes one with the vinyl and it will not wash off there are two different sizes of transfer sheets one is a3 and one is a4 a4 is a standard 8.5 by 11 paper and A3 is a large 11 by 17 paper. In this example, we're going to use A3. In my opinion, A3 is better for making t-shirts. The picture is larger and it looks more professional. I strongly suggest that you guys use PPD brand vinyls. They're by far the highest quality. All right, guys, the next thing that we're going to do is cut off any unprinted parts of the paper. If you guys are cutting around the design, it's okay to leave a tiny bit of white space. It's going to be unnoticeable when the shirt is pressed on the white t-shirt. After the image is cut out, the next step is to take the image, align it carefully on the t-shirt, and place it with the image side facing down. After you guys align everything carefully, the next step is to tape the t-shirt with heat transfer tape. Cut the tape to about an inch long and then tape all four sides of the t-shirt. Make sure you guys do a quick press on the t-shirt before taping to get any wrinkles out. Alright guys, the next thing we're going to do is take our heat press, preheat it to around 320 degrees, put the t-shirt into the heat press, cover it with silicone paper. By the way, the silicone paper is going to come with the PPD paper so you guys don't have to buy it separately. And we're going to press for around 15 seconds. After you're done pressing, you will let the t-shirt cool off for about 30 seconds and then you will start peeling. After you peel the shirt, you have to do one more thing and that's stretch the shirt and do another quick 5 second press to make sure the shirt lasts a long time and can withstand washes. After that's done, the t-shirt is finished. Alright guys, now let's do our next example and this next example is going to be a t-shirt which is not just a plain rectangle shape. Now when you guys make t-shirts, I strongly suggest that you use A3 size sheets. Shirts usually look much better when the design is bigger, but for this example, let's use a standard size A4 sheet. When you guys make t-shirts using heat transfer sheets, you're limited to a rectangular design. You can't really have a design that fades from the t-shirt to the image. But the cool thing is you guys can still cut out designs. So again, we're going to cut around the paper and then we're going to take scissors and cut around the letters. Again, when you guys cut, it's okay to leave a little bit of white area. It won't really be visible when the shirt is pressed. Now our picture is cut out. The next step is to tape it onto the t-shirt. Again, we're going to carefully align the shirt and use heat transfer tape to tape the image onto the shirt. We're going to put silicone paper over the shirt and press it for around 15 seconds at 320 degrees. We're going to wait around 30 seconds and then peel. And as you guys can see, the shirt came out perfect. I strongly suggest that you guys only stick to white t-shirts. When you make white t-shirts, the quality is excellent and most people won't be able to tell that the shirt was made at home. You guys can also make black t-shirts, but I strongly suggest that you guys don't do this. In my opinion, the quality is way inferior compared to white t-shirts. The shirts look like a school project, so I strongly suggest that you guys stay away from dark transfer sheets. Alright guys, so I already made a video before about how to make t-shirts with inkjet printers and heat transfer papers, and I don't want to make the content repetitive, but one of the reasons why I made this video was because a lot of you guys asked me about print and cut and how it works. So let's talk about that. So basically what print and cut is, is when you print the image on the transfer sheet, but instead of printing the paper with a regular app such as Photoshop, you print with a special program that's made for the Cameo vinyl cutter. This program prints special registration marks in the paper, and the Cameo machine senses these marks and cuts around the image. So a Silhouette Cameo 4 costs around $300, and this machine comes with a free software called Silhouette Studio. You would simply import your PNG file into Silhouette Studio, the program will automatically outline the design, you print the paper, then you insert the paper into the printer, and the machine will cut out the picture. Let me show you guys exactly how it works. Alright guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is make our image in Photoshop. As you guys know, you should not be selling any copyrighted image. This is strictly an example for the video. So what you guys are going to do is make your file and make sure the background of the file is clear. You're going to save this as a PNG file, and then you're going to open up this file in Silhouette Studio. When you guys open up this file, the software will automatically outline the design. So if you guys look closely, you'll see all the letters are outlined in red. These right here are your registration marks. The next thing you will do is click print and you're going to print out this image. After the image is printed, you're going to take the paper and you're going to insert it into the Cameo machine. You're going to click the load button and then you're going to go back into Silhouette Studio, click on send, connect your Cameo machine, and then click the send button. And the vinyl cutter will start cutting out the image. All right guys, so the next step is to take the printed paper and stick it onto the vinyl cutter mat. The Cameo machine has a little camera and it will detect the registration marks. We're going to load the mat into the vinyl cutter, hit print, and the vinyl cutter will start carefully cutting out the image. After the vinyl cutter is done cutting out the image, you're going to take out the mat 
and you're going to put heat transfer tape on the parts that are going to be on the shirt. So we're going to put heat transfer tape on the picture and we're also going to put heat transfer tape on the letters. So the next thing that you guys will do is carefully weed out the image and weed out the letters. You guys will do this for the entire design. And the next thing that you guys will do is take the weed of design, align it on the t-shirt, you guys will tape it, heat press it, and then peel off the transfer tape. Before you guys start peeling, make sure the shirt cools off and also be sure to peel slowly. Alright guys, so my honest opinion about print and cut is that you guys should not do it. Print and cut is not made for t-shirts. The Cameo is a great machine if you guys are doing art and craft projects or if you want to make vinyl t-shirts. But print and cut was not made for t-shirts. First, PPD vinyls are the best quality vinyl sheets and they cannot be used with a Cameo machine. They get stuck and it gets really messy, so you guys don't want to do that. Also, the Cameo machine does not cut precisely every single time. And if an A3 paper costs a dollar, doing this is just not going to be realistic. And the main reason is that it takes way too long to make a t-shirt. This is not a professional method and you guys are going to feel like you're making a school project instead of making a t-shirt for resale. If you guys want to make and sell t-shirts, simply get the inkjet printer and start making white t-shirts. It's easy, it's fast, and the results are going to be high quality. Again, print and cut is not for t-shirts, and you guys should avoid it. Now, just so you guys know, besides making t-shirts, you, you can make any type of clothing, including long sleeve shirts and hoodies. So just to clarify, you guys do not need to buy the Cameo machine. You can use any inkjet printer. I suggest you guys buy a large format inkjet printer so you can make A3 size t-shirts, and you will need a heat press machine. All of this stuff will cost you under $500. And another thing is when you guys sell these shirts, make sure you tell your customers to wash them inside out in simple cycle mold. This is going to ensure that the shirts last a long time. Alright guys, so on my channel, I want to cover all types of businesses, everything from simple to complex stuff. If you're a teenager and you're in high school, making and selling shirts is a great side hustle. You can buy blank shirts on websites such as JiffyShirts.com, a white t-shirt will cost you under $2, and a large A3 size transfer sheet will cost you about a dollar. Ink is cheap, and making a t-shirt will cost you no more than $3. You can easily sell these for $10 to $12, and when you do take the money that you make, buy more transfer sheets and reinvest everything into the business. When you make a couple thousand dollars, get a DTF printer and once you have a DTF printer you'll be able to make high quality professional t-shirts. With a DTF printer you can print on any kind of material and you can do black shirts with no problem. The way DTF printing works is the printer prints on plastic film with special ink and then you take that sheet and you heat press it onto the t-shirt. In my opinion this is the best, cheapest and easiest way to make professional t-shirts. Now if you guys want you can also start making and selling t-shirts online. You can easily sell on places such as eBay, Etsy and Amazon. You can also start your own online store and promote it on social media. If you guys want to learn more about making t-shirts at home, simply click on my channel, click on playlist and be sure to watch the playlist on how to start a t-shirt business. Also be sure to check out my other videos on how to start different businesses and side hustles. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.